Let us celebrate with joy the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, for from her arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Nine months since the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, today we celebrate the Feast of the Birth of Our Lady. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us praise God as we say glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. In part to your servants we pray, O Lord, the gift of heavenly grace, that the feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin may bring deeper peace to those for whom the birth of her Son was the dawning of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. The Lord says, You, Bethlehem Ephrata, too small to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient times. Therefore the Lord will give them up until the time when she who is to give birth has born, and the rest of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord, in the majestic name of the Lord his God, and they shall remain. For now his greatness shall reach to the ends of the earth. He shall be peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. Though I trusted in your mercy, let my heart rejoice in your salvation. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. Let me sing of the Lord. He has been good to me. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Aminadab. Aminadab became the father of Nashon, Nashon the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijah, Abijah the father of Asaph. Asaph became the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Uzziah. Uzziah became the father of Yotham, Yotham the father of Ahaz, Ahaz the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh, Manasseh the father of Amos, Amos the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. 
After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Shealtiel, Shealtiel the father of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel the father of Abiud. Abiud became the father of Eliakim, Eliakim the father of Azor, Azor the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Achim, Achim the father of Eliud, Eliud the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Mathan, Mathan the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Back in the early 1940s, England was taking a hit in the war. Nothing was working. Had an evacuation at Dunkirk. Little skirmishes with the German army weren't helping. And then the British army had their first victory in Egypt, defeating German forces. And Winston Churchill came into the parliament and he gave a famous speech in 1942 that said, this is not the end. This is not the beginning of the end, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning or something like that. But today, as we reflect on this, on the birth of the Virgin Mary, it is the beginning beginning of the end of the wait. It was that time when now no longer do they have to say, when will God fulfill the promise he gave that a Messiah, a Savior, a new king would come? And so we read today what we read on Christmas Eve, right? The genealogy of Jesus and the lineage that's there. It comes in three sets of 14 each. Remember, seven is the number of perfection for the Jews, seven days of creation and whatnot. And so that idea of two sevens would be even better than one seven. And so you have now not just that, but then you have a three, which is three sets of this, of two sets of seven. And and for them, it just meant that this all happened with a plan in God's time. The first takes them from the beginning of their people, Abraham, to David, to the great king, the uniter of the Jewish people. The second brings them their downfall, right? It begins with David, but it ends with the Babylonian exile when they're spread out, removed from their land. And for the people of the time, they thought that was the end of their monarchy, that promised monarchy. But now Matthew gives them, there's a rest of the story, there's a part you don't understand, that God's plan still worked. And so we hear after the exile, here's what happened. And then we get from, uh, uh, who is it, from from Jeconiah, who they thought him and his brothers were all executed. They were all killed. They thought that was the end of the monarchy. But one of them had a son. And now we go through the whole line and the lineage leading up to Joseph, who marries Mary. And now we have this fulfillment, that Messiah is coming. And so it's for them, would read this and go, there is this promise. God has made good on it. But, of course, it required the Blessed Mother. It required her yes, her free yes. We know nine months ago we celebrated the God's formation of the plan, which we read goes all the way back to Adam. I will put enmity between you and the serpent, between you and the devil. Right? And so distance and, and you know, he will strike at your heel or you will, uh, you will strike at his heel. He will strike at you. And, and we know even then God knew the disobedience would have to be replaced by obedience. And so for that plan to happen, God chooses a time, and now we celebrate the birth of the one who will be, hopefully, of course, at her birth, she hasn't said yes to God yet, but it's the fulfillment of God's plan, that yes given to God in a lowly place, Bethlehem, and so we get from the prophet Micah. We don't use Micah very often, but it's here that prophecy that it will happen in this lowly place. Everybody thinks that Bethlehem is the lowest of the places, but from you will come. Of course, we know Joseph is from Bethlehem. Mary is from Bethlehem. And so from that little city, a little town of Bethlehem, we know that the, God's plan will be made. God's plan will, will arise in there. A 
planned through all generations that for God, time means nothing. It's a blink of an eye. But even in the genealogy, you know, we realize that sometimes in God's plan, things don't always, they aren't always pleasant. They don't always work well, right? So in the genealogy of father, son, father, son, father, son, we hear four, four women are named whose mother was Perez, or whose mother was Tamar, whose mother was Rahab, um, whose mother was Ruth, whose mother was, they don't even, almost embarrassingly, can't say Bathsheba, is the mother, is, was the wife of Uriah. These weren't at times the, 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 the best of circumstances, uh, strange situations in, the, in their births, and sometimes flat-out sin. David seduced right, Bathsheba, and even though she's married, her husband's a soldier. And then he arranges to have, her, to have the, the, the husband killed right, in battle. Um, so sometimes even God can work through our sin when we think that my life isn't part of a plan. I don't participate in any great master plan of anything. I'm just an ordinary person. I'm insignificant. Maybe we may think that. Maybe even the world thinks it, but not to God. We may have already, some point in your life, you may have already done something that God planned to happen, which sets in motion something else that you have no idea of, but you fulfilled your part in that plan. Or maybe it hasn't happened yet. But whatever it is, since we don't know when or how, if it happened, if it's going to happen, or if it may even happen today, we have to be open to God's plan. We have to be, always say, Lord, let it be as Our Lady said. Let it be as you say. So we honor her because, again, it's our mother's birthday. It's a chance to reflect on her, to exalt her, to honor her, to thank her, to remember all the things she has done for us. Ask ourselves, I should pay more attention to her. I should give her a little more of my time. I should call my mother once in a while, right? We all have said that until the time when our mothers go, and then we say, I should have done more. I should have taken that opportunity. Oh, if I just had one more phone call, one more conversation. With Our Lady, it's always possible. That doesn't mean we shouldn't think that, oh, I got plenty of time, I don't have to do it. But it means we should take it every time. What joy there'll be, right? We leave this world doing good, showing God we want to serve him in the next life by serving him in this life, but in that particular judgment, when he come, you know, when he's going to look at us, if he's able to say, "Oh, you, my mother told me about you." Let us bring our needs before God, whose will it is that all humanity should be saved. For our Holy Father Pope Francis, may the Lord, in His divine goodness, watch over and care for him. Let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the world, may God's love and justice guide those in power and authority, we pray to the Lord. For those suffering from any affliction, may Jesus give them peace and strength, we pray to the Lord. For this congregation of faith, may the Lord make us holy, as the Blessed Virgin Mary was holy and full of grace, we pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may they rest in the eternal peace of God, we pray to the Lord. For Marina Aralar and for Diane Ulrich, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. God of mercy and love, as we celebrate today the feast of the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring these prayers to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate with joy the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring you our offerings, O Lord, and we humbly pray to be given strength by the humanity of your Son, who from her was pleased to take flesh, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the nativity of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you, Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave, it to, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you and their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Behold, the virgin will bear a son who will save his people from their sins. For those watching by live stream, we offer this spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your church exult, O Lord, for you have renewed her with these sacred mysteries as she rejoices in the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which was the hope and daybreak of salvation for all the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you, who have devoutly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended.
Thanks be to God.